Hi, it's B with Crafting Daily Dose. Welcome to our team's virtual tour of the 2022 to 23 Stampin' Up! annual catalog. Now I get to share with you the He's the Man Suite, which you can find on pages 78 and 79 of the catalog. This collection includes the He's All That stamp set and the All That dies. Now these are offered as a bundle, which means that there's a 10% discount compared to getting them individually. Then there's the He's the Man Specialty Designer Series paper. And then finally, the Rustic Metallic Adhesive Back Dots. And we'll talk more about each of these. Now, when you look on both the paper and the digital version of the catalog, you're going to find that Stampin' Up! already provides you with a lot of really great samples. And if you then turn to page 164, you're going to find one more along with a larger picture of the shapes of the dies. And of course, I'll be sharing more samples with you, so let's dig in. The name of the stamp set in this collection is He's All That. It's a cling stamp set, meaning it's made from rubber, and there are 11 total stamps. So let's take a look. There are lots of images here and sentiments that are good for those elusive masculine cards, although they can be used for other kinds of cards as well. So, to the man who does everything, happy birthday to a classic, every day with you is another adventure, together for the long haul, so we've got this band with a little surfboard on top, wishing you a happy Father's Day, hello handsome, holy smokes you're amazing with some barbecue tools there, love the sky, and then we've got three smaller stamps down here. This one is a number one symbol, and then this one is like the top of a Phillips screw, and then this little triangle like a photo corner. Now you'll notice that there are several round stamps here, and these are cling stamps, so they're made from rubber and they are already mounted on this foam, but they don't have the indexing stickers on yet. That's something that we put on ourselves. So what I did for these is I just took a little permanent marker and I made some marks on the foam itself at the top center and at the bottom center, just based on the images that are on the back. And I used that as reference points when I went to go put on the sticker so that the sticker would be oriented in the right way. And if you need additional help with that, I have a link to a basic how-to video for putting the stickers on. These are the coordinating dies. They're called All That. And this is what the shapes look like when we cut them out. So we've got a rectangle with some rounded edges. Then we've got a more decorative rectangle. We have this circle that's got like a fluted edge around it a plain oval, an arrow, then we've got the single die that cuts out two of these straight fishtail banners at the same time, and then we've got two individual curved ones that can be used like this. And then finally, we've got these two dies that cut out an argyle shape. And it's nice that you get a double set because you can cut out two at the same time. Now, for something like this that's got very fine lines, I usually like to put some adhesive sheet behind the cardstock before I cut. That makes the die cut like a sticker, and it just makes it a lot easier to adhere to your project after. Now, this die can fit the to the man who does everything sentiment very nicely, but you can also use it for several of the other ones as well. It's just gonna be a little bit bigger than those sentiments. This one fits the car sentiment very nicely. And again, you can use it for several of the other ones as well. We've got this rounded die that fits both of those. This oval fits the Holy Smokes Your Amazing sentiment. And then this arrow, as you might guess, and this arrow, as you might guess, fits the Love This Guy sentiment. 
Now, the specialty designer series paper in this collection is called He's the Man. It's a set of 12 sheets of 12 by 12 paper, and there are two sheets of each of six different designs. I've got five of the designs here to show you, so I'm showing you both the front and the back. And you can see that the coordinating colors are Cajun Craze, Early Espresso, Sahara Sand, Soft Succulent, and then Basic Black. We've got some great neutrals that make backgrounds, not just for masculine cards, but really I think they work for any kind of cards, even florals. On this one, we've got some ties and glasses and shoes, some very retro looking icons. And then we've got some classic cars, some barbecue motifs, and then some camping images. Now these are just five of the designs. So next, we get to the last sheet in the pack. Now remember there are two of these and what's special about these designs is that each of these images is already die cut and ready to be punched out so that can be used really easily. You're going to see that there's another color that's introduced here that's the crushed curry and there are images that go along with the other papers. So we've got camping and travel, we've got classic cars, barbecue, some tools, and lots of other images. Plus there are a couple of beer images because this set also coordinates with the Brood For You bundle. So just really very versatile and quick and easy to use. And then rounding out the collection are the rustic metallic adhesive back dots. So you can see that they do have some dimension to them, but not too much. So they shouldn't pose much of a problem when you are trying to mail a project and they have adhesive on the back. So you just pop them right off and then stick them down where you want to on your project. They add a good amount of interest without being too shiny or glitzy. Now I've got lots of samples to share with you and the pictures for these are also going to be on the blog so you can look at them more closely. Now this one uses what is probably my favorite die cut from the designer series paper. It's the one that looks like a torn notebook edge. I've stamped on it, added some more die cuts and some of those metallic dots with more designer series paper and stamping on the inside. I think that all of those elements in the designer series paper are so fun because you can quickly pull together a bunch of different ones, mix and match them. They're going to coordinate and you can put together a really quick card. For the car enthusiast, I've paired these papers together along with the die cuts. And then on the inside, another die cut and a little strip of that designer series paper. Now on this card, I'm using those same papers again, but in a different layout. And I've also stamped one of the images. Now notice that there are two different colors on this image. So let me quickly show you how I did that. I'm coloring directly onto the stamp using my Stampin' Write markers in Cajun Craze and Early Espresso. Now you can definitely do this with a clear stamping block, but it's easier with the Stamparatus because it gives you a little extra insurance to be able to do it again if you need to. Here's a camping themed card. This card was inspired by Nancy Hoker. And I used Soft Succulent ink to stamp both on the inside as well as on this background here and then just added some of the designer series paper. Now this die cut used in the back here is actually from the Layering Circles die set. It's a little bit bigger than the one that comes with this bundle and they go together really well. And here's another simple card. It focuses on this van die cut, which is really cool. And I added one of the metallic dots in the center of the compass. For this one, I use one of the smaller layering circle dies to cut out just the compass part from that stamped image, and I adhered it both to the front and to the inside, along with some extra die cuts and more of those metallic dots. Now this one uses some of those old fashioned icons, and I thought it would be fun to add a photo. So that's what this white space represents. I'm going to go ahead and add a picture there, and then here's a peek at the inside. Now we're looking at a beer themed card and I've used the die set to create these banners and added in a little extra pop of color with the crushed curry. 
Now on this one, I've added the argyle elements. There's one on the inside, and then on the front, there's one, two, and then this is a half of one, just to make it look a little bit different. This barbecue card uses some of the strips of the designer series paper and has some stamping on the inside, some of the die cuts and banners for the front. For the front of this card, I've torn some of the designer series paper to create a band that goes across the card. And I added some linen thread behind this sentiment that's been cut out with the all that dies. On the inside, just added some layers of cardstock and I cut out one of those tiny flames from the designer series paper and just added it there to the bottom. Now this flippin' awesome card is actually a fun fold. It's called a Miura fold and I was inspired by Sharon Lynn for this one. When you remove the belly band, it opens up like this and you've got room to write your message. This fold is a little bit more involved than what we have time for here, so I'll show that to you separately, but it's a fun way to showcase these papers. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you've had a glimpse of some of the possibilities with this suite and that you'll have as much fun creating with it as I have. Make sure that you check out the other videos in our catalog tour, and I hope to see you again next time. Till then, have a great day.